guys. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Let's get started. You can take a seat. And uh, you're going to have to, like, adjust and move your barbell around a bunch. And it's a tool we're going to use today for mobilizing. But, you know, admittedly, it's, it's clunky at the barbell. So just be aware of that. Um, you're going to start with, a, with one minute of some quad smash. So find a, take the barbell, take the end of it, sit just like this. And then you can move it around to apply as much weight as you need. And you're just going to roll very slowly up and down the quad, taking some deep breaths as you do it. If you find a tender point, try not to go into too much pain. See if you can still breathe under control in through the nose, out through the mouth, with the, the entire quad. <laughs> you might feel like you're kind of rolling over like some pencils. You know, that's the torture. <laughs> no, your muscle is as hard as the bone. That's why. That's why, Marco. You can go wherever you need to. You're gonna have. You're gonna. You're only gonna do this one time. So just like, take this one set. The goal here is to like is to warm you up a little bit. Um, if you're just to class, cool. But otherwise, we can also we're getting the muscle warm, just like a massage therapist or a chiro like manipulates you, gets you a little warm before they crack you. In the same way, we're gonna get our muscles warm like this, but we're also desensitizing so that when we go to stretch, you get to switch sides now, other side. Turn if it's easier to do that. And since you only have 60 seconds, I would just focus on one spot. Um, this is also just a little bit of like exposure for you so you can see Okay, I could do this later if I come in and I'm like super sore. This is just more an idea as well. Face as relaxed as you can. Long exhales, deep inhales. That makes one minute on each side. Now you're gonna lay like this, the barbell right on your shoulder or on your pack a little bit. So I'm, I'm kind of like right in this junction and you can roll and continue to the bicep if you want, but I would focus here. And then you can even move like by rotating a little bit, if that feels good. If you need more load, you can just push with your opposite hand. If you need an angle, adjust and, and shoot for more pec. But you're gonna be here now for one minute. Yes, so the front of the delt, and then just like this little junction between where shoulder meets chest, that little dip, that's kind of where I'm spending most of my time. That's where I feel tender, oh, right in there. But uh, play it by ear, play it by, by your own body, your own tenderness, where do you feel? You need a little smash, a little blood flow. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> that can be our playlist. Same stuff applies, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Even though it feels super sticky and uncomfortable, try to make it feel good. So like get that feeling of relief, that exhale, like, oh, that's the spot type feeling. All right, guys, that's a minute there. Lift up and over. Go to the.
keep working there. Irish. Looking great, dude. Three, two, one. Now, just check this out before you before you really move too far. Be careful there's no look. This is the stretch. Do. Okay, it's a cover. You've done it before, perhaps. You take your opposite hand, you push this knee down, and then you take some deep breaths. Every exhale, I'm trying to reach a little further. But gluing this knee down becomes kind of an annoying. So you're going to take your barbell and you're going to set it so it can glue the knee down. Okay? So just know the stretch first. Know, like, I would do the stretch without the barbell first and be like, okay. That way I know where the barbell is gonna go. But use it to really actually glue your knee to the floor, come this way. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, put your knee all the way to the floor. Yes, good, and now open, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna place this like this, I'll show you. Right there, okay. Good, good, good. Hey, Eli, bring your knee all the way to the floor first. Yep, all the way there. There you go. And now you can set that. Good. Okay, open this way now. Okay, I just adjusted a couple of you to make it a little more comfortable. Now you're going to focus on your breath. You only got another 20 seconds. So inhale, and as you exhale, reach your arm away from your knee or reach away. Try to. As you inhale, inhale into your lower back, the part you probably feel stretching. As you exhale, think about relaxing the shoulder to the floor, or reaching it in the opposite direction. Take one more big inhale and exhale. And then switch sides. Three, two, one, whenever you're ready. 45 seconds on this side. I gave you, I gave you a little more. I'll give you a whole minute. It looks like you guys really like this one. Take some deep breaths. Glue that knee to the floor first. Yeah, there you go. And then open. That's it. Breathe into the back as you exhale, reach a little further. Three, two, one. Come on up out of there. You're gonna sit now in front of your barbell like this. With your palms down, we're going extension rollout. So you're gonna roll the barbell away, find a stretch at the end range, sweep it back to you. Six seconds starting in five. Negotiate with your neighbors. Three, two, one, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Uh, as wide as it's comfortable for you, the wider you go, probably the easier or the further you'll be able to go into the stretch. But uh, palms down, yeah, palms are all down on you guys. I would try to do one or two reps where you inhale, and then when you run out of air to inhale, that'll be your end range. 
So try that, like start at the top and then inhale. And when you can no longer inhale, then maybe take a few reps at that, or a few breaths at that range, and then sweep the bar back into you by using the same muscles that you felt stretching. You'll hear that a lot in this class, contract the stretched stuff. And that's what you're doing now. You're gonna contract the stretch stuff in order to come back to your start position. You got another 10 seconds here. Okay. Good. Come on up to a standing position. And we're gonna cross, um, cross a leg over. Don't worry about your barbell for now, but cross your right leg in front of you, just like this. And then just lean to the side and get a stretch in the side of your body. Maybe the side of this hip, maybe this oblique. Maybe you need to reach forward a little more. Maybe you need to reach back a little more. Feel the stretch. Once you've got the stretch, now you're gonna use a barbell to add a load to that stretch. So yeah, you got it. Oblique, side of hip. So now pick the barbell up in your right side, right hand, cross right leg over and lean to the right. Everything is right. So we're gonna go three seconds down. Three, two, one. We're gonna hold for three, two, one. And then we're gonna come up. And you're gonna do that. Let's do a couple more together. Three, two, one. Hold three, two, one. Contract to down. Two, one. Hold. One. Contract. Two more. A total of three. Two, one, hold three, one, up, last one, three, two, one, three, up. Very good. Step over your barbell, do the other side. If it's in left, in front, and you also lean to the left. Everything is left. On your own this time, you got six reps. Count yourself in your head, three seconds down, three seconds hold. Move forward, Sergio. So take a baby step forward. Okay. And then, yeah, that's it. Good. Push this hip to me. That's it. You feel a stretch here? Okay, great. Focus on your hip going to the side as opposed to making this like a deadlift. Make it like the flossing dance. You know this guy? I can't do it, but you know this, right? So this is the motion you're after side instead of up and down like a deadlift. There you go. That's it, dude. <laughs> I have to warm up first. You could show, you could all show me now that your guys are warmed up. Yeah, hell yeah, Mark. That was, uh, I'll give you a four, four out of 10. Give me okay, you guys got six per side. Come back, we're gonna do one more set. Extend and roll out, so take a seat. 60 seconds, starting in uh, five seconds. Three, two, one, whenever you're ready. Clock is on. Give you guys some space. Roll it out. Take deep breaths. In, in nearly any stretch that we do that moves through the whole range, you can apply that uh, inhaling. So I, can I inhale? If I can't inhale any further, that's probably the end of the range that I really control. But at the same time, you guys could, I could see justification in going beyond that range as well. It's nice for reps, though. If it feels good, you don't have to move through the range. You could also just hang out at the end. You have another 10 seconds or so to experiment with this guy. Three, two, one, come on up. Pick a side you want to start on. If you're holding it to your right side, your right foot is crossed in front and you're leaning to the right. Move around if you need to or move your barbell to make it so that you get the best stretch possible. 
three, two, one, holds, three, two, one, up, six reps. There you go. You can really adjust this one a bunch. Like it's possible to feel it in your in your QL and your low back. Usually, if you reach the hand a little further forward in front of the foot, and I get a little more of the side of my hip if my hand is closer to the back of my foot or closer to my heel. And you can adjust these things by moving forward and back so that your hand lands forward or behind the foot. You can leave, like, I think back, back leg straight, yeah. Front leg doesn't matter. Front leg, just as long as you're getting this motion to the side, that's, that's all that matters. Six reps, three down. Try playing with that inhale to your end range. You guys feel beat up weak? Where are we sore? Upper body, upper body? Upper? What's that? Everything, your soul is sore? I like that. I think CJ would like to hear that actually. Soul is sore. All right. Once you've gotten your six on each side, you guys know horse, you guys know horse stance? Let's do a little warm up set. So put together, count. Steps. If you keep your toes relatively forward, that is generally better. And I don't really care like how low that you go. I just want you to be fighting to pull lower. And if that means that you have to go wider in order to fight to pull lower, do it. Come on down. Try to keep your chest upright, like com torso completely vertical. And just let's take like 20 seconds just to warm this position up. Good. Elias, you can go wider with your feet. There you go. That's it, dude, that looks great. Good, try to bring your hips through your legs. You can go a little wider as well, Liz. And then come on up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is use the barbell for a little extra load to push us a little deeper and to make it slightly more challenging. I know, I saw Ashley just roll eyes big time. But barbell here, you could also go barbell here, whatever you feel better with. I think lower loading, is easier, it feels more natural to me. We're gonna hold there 45 seconds. Let's try it out. Ready? Ooh, we are gonna do something just like that in a sec, but first let's warm it up. You ready? Three, two, one, 45 seconds. I would try the low hold, guys. It, it feels to me, it feels really natural. Yeah, I would try like that. I think that's better. There you go. And now chest up as much as you can. Elias, drop your knee out. Don't let your knee track inside your, come up a little. There you go. Arch your back. There, right there. Hold that. Yes, sir. Good. There. Go. Okay, bring your hips through. Yes, there. Now drop straight down. There you go. 30 seconds, you got another 10 now, 10 seconds. Chest up more, yes. Drive knees out more. Knees out, knees out, knees out, knees out, knees out. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Very nice. Okay, now you're gonna use all that activation on the side of the hip. We're gonna do a side lunge, not like a Cossack squat, but a side lunge. So you're gonna take a step to the side and then come down three, two, one, three. Push up and away. And as you push, come back to feet together. Let's try one out. We're gonna do three on each side. So bar on back. Only go as far as you can keep your chest upright. Start with your feet together. 
Okay, choose a side you want to go to. Don't hit your neighbor. Three, two, one, go ahead. Step out. Drop three, two, one. Chest up, three. Holding the bottom. Let's do one together again. You ready? Hold the bottom for three. And go. Lowering, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Push and land with feet together. Yes. Same side, two more. Ready, go. Here on this time. Three down. Three holds, two away, five outside of your hip as you push. One more like that. That was good. Chest are up, forward. I don't care how far you go. I care that your torso is vertical. Do the other side. What's up, Liz? As soon as you look, or keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Hips in front of you, hips in front of you. Don't let your hips come back. Buck goes back, you're going to break the glass. Do not break the glass. Go a little wider. Mark. Your next step. Yeah, there you go. So you've gotten three percent. Bells down. One set is complete. Let's do two more. We're going horse stance first. You ready? Oh my God. You can go unweighted if you want. You want to go unweighted horse stance? Dwight's already there, dude. Let's go. We got to catch up to Dwight. Three, two, one, go. Hold here. Come up, up, higher, come up, there, drive your knees out wide. Yes, there you go. Grab at the ground with your big toe. Push further forward, there. Arch your back. 15 seconds, guys. Five, three, two, gently put the barbell down. Take a breath. Very good. Okay. Bar on back. Get ready. Here we go. Three reps. A step. Here we go. Step down three. Two, two, and push down. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, push down. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, push. Other side down. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, push. Keep going down. Three, two, one, hold, three, one, push. Last one on your own this time. Chest up, chest up, chest up, chest up. Don't let your butt come back. I don't care how low you go, just stay vertical. Once you guys start to send your butts back, you lose the stretch and just becomes about supporting the position. Stay upright. Two down, one more to go. Here we go, 45 seconds. Horse stance holds. You want to go unweighted? You can. Ready? We're going in three, two, one, begin. In case you haven't already, connect to the outside of your hip. Yes, sir. Okay. Push into my hand with your knee. Yeah, there you go. Don't lose that. Keep doing it. I want to feel your hand. There you are, right there. Good. Chest up now. Yes, hold that. That's it. 15 seconds. Scoot your feet wider. 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 10 seconds. Here. Push this out. Drive this forward. You got it. You got it. You got it. Five, four, three, two, rest. You can rest. Let's take 30 seconds. 
far less uh, Okay, that wasn't 30 seconds, that was 15 seconds. So last hold, you're good. You guys are good. You gotta do your side lunges first. And then we'll go. You ready? Let's do it. Barbells on back. You're on this set, three down, three holds. Nice, Marco. Strong push as you come back up. Push hard through there. Yes, don't go so far. Go a little shorter on the next one. There you go. Nice, guys. Spasm. Good work, guys. All right, we do have some stretching for you coming up. Stretching is next. Don't worry. We're going to go uh, a seated pancake stretch. If you want to do this with your shoes off, you're more than welcome to. And well, I'll show you first, then you can decide. You're also going to be doing some leg lifts, so it's a pound less per foot if you want to. Okay. Seated pancake is just simply this. I put my toes or my heels or I find the barbell in some way with my feet, and then I can use the bar to pull myself in a stretch. Go ahead and get comfortable there. We're going to start with... 60, I'll even give you a little more. 90 seconds of stretch here. You got it, my dude. Can you reach that barbell? Can you grab the barbell? Can you grab the barbell from with your feet like that or no? I'm going to give you something. Hold on. Check the clock. You're going to go uh, one minute from now. my friend if you want put this around here right here and put your hands through the loop and grab on like that sorry you, you you get what i'm saying yes yep and it is however just so you can pull straight legs and get You need one more tool. Hold on. I just gave these guys a little help. Just so you can like grab on either end of that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. There you go. Uh, that's that's it. <laughs> it's supposed to be a minute. You went a little longer, but it's okay. I, I know you're not complaining about this piece. Okay. So we're gonna go now into a little complex. The complex is, it's, they're overcoming isometrics. They're used a lot to like to open up range, but here's how it works. Usually, well, here, I'll show you. You're going to point your toe. You're going to push into the floor. So I want to be at the end range of my stretch. That's number one. So I have my end range. Okay, I'm there. Can't reach any further. I'm going to flex my quads and push into the floor and fight to lift, but I'm in stretch. Like I'm so far deep that I can't lift. If I was back here, I could do it. But here, I can't. And that's where you want to be, somewhere where you cannot lift, hence an isometric. So what we'll do is fight to lift for five, four, three, two, one, and then we'll take a breath and we'll try to reach deeper. And what will happen is after the contraction, you should be able to relax deeper into stretch. It's like working the antagonist, 
lets the agonist relax. Something's going on, but it does work. You can use the barbell for leverage if you want, like, but let me see. Like if I go deep in my stretch and I push into the barbell and try to lift and then breathe, yeah, you could do something like that. That would work okay. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't need it. Like as long as you're here, you don't need the barbell. We're gonna stretch in between the sets. Okay, you guys ready? You're attempting to lift, so your hip flexors might cramp. Like that's that would be expected. Okay, if they already are. If they begin to cramp so much that you're like, this is prohibiting the exercise, then don't put so much effort in that you cramp. Just squeeze it a little bit instead of cramping out. You ready? Don't worry about the band. Don't worry about the band. Just put your feet, hands on the floor. Toes up to the ceiling. Okay, you ready? Or point your toes. Three, two, one, and fight to lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, reach further. Immediately fall or reach further. Take a breath, number two, fight. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath, reach further, last one. Fighting, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, reach further, take two breaths in this deep range. Now back up a bunch, put your hands in front of you, point your toes, we're gonna go 10 lifts. Now you will be able to lift because you've backed up, you ready? And lifting 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh man. Oh man. First day, first, first time. First pancakes. Okay, you guys can rest. I'll stop making fun of you. I'm cramping too. I just don't show it. I just I don't freak out anymore. Okay. Now take another. 15 seconds, 30 seconds to stretch. Just like if you want to chill out here again, you've probably noticed you can get deeper into the stretch. Like even with the barbell, you guys can use it. I say your hip flexors are like your most undertrained muscle in the gym. We don't, we do tons of pushing with our legs. We don't do a lot of pulling with our legs or, or fighting for, to make this work hard. Okay. It could be, I won't say yes or no. That's something I don't, I don't know enough about to say it's good or bad for, but I can tell, is it hurt? To feel it working. Oh, okay. You guys can stand on up. We're gonna go in. We have one other exercise to pair this set with. So stand up. I'll I'll teach it to you now and then we'll get into it. It's a Jefferson curl, but we're gonna use a, a Zercher grip so that we don't touch the floor. But let's start with just a regular Jefferson curl, like a bodyweight Jefferson curl. Imagining as if you're holding the barbell and the crux of your elbow, because you will be when we do this exercise. You're gonna give yourself a double chin. And then you're gonna roll your entire spine. As you're rolling, hold on one sec. Imagine, you ever see those like pop lock dancers and they do like, like this move? It's like you're sucking your sternum in and sucking this in and sucking this in as you come down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it, ready? Double chin, pretend you got your barbell, sucking in, rolling down. And now you're gonna reach your toes for Eight, knees are squeezed, reaching, 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 and then come back up by, by tucking your tail and then rolling up through. So if you watch, can you guys watch Bassam do one? You can come down to the bottom, just come right down to the bottom. So the first movement, imagine like a fishing rod. When you do a fishing rod, it's like the base moves first and then the end of the rod moves. Same thing with Bassam's spine. This motion right there, that's first to initiate. Come back down to the, all the way to the bottom. I want you to see straight legs. Okay, can you get your glute to squeeze to do that motion? So like as you tuck, can you get your glute on? That's my challenge to you today. Okay, let's try it with the barbell. Pick it up, put it in the crux of your elbow. If you're like, TJ, if I do this, like I can't touch the ground, then you don't need to hold it in the crux of your elbow. But 
if you, if you are going to hit the ground when you, when you do that, then you need it here. We're going to go down for five seconds. Ready? A double chin. We're rolling five, four, three, two, one. Reach, squeeze, and then initiate at the hip. Roll back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Look forward. Take a breath and repeat. Five, four, three, two, one. Reaching and back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Down. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up. Five, four, three, two, one. One more. Down. Five, four. Knees straight. Two, one. Hold. Back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Barbell gently down, please. You guys know what I'm gently, you know what I'm talking about with the, do you get what I'm saying with the tuck? Like this is, I want this to work hard in the, up the very bottom. Okay, take a seat. We go pancake. One set down, two to go. Pancake stretch first, 60 seconds. So we're training two things that are like kind of neglected. One of them, hip flexion, and the other, spinal flexion. So like, can we build tension even in a rounded position uh, in our spine? In the bottom of that Jefferson curl, your knees got to be straight. You're actively pulling your elbow. Like you're trying to reach your elbow to the floor. If I were to train these on my own, I would set up a yoga block or a stack of yoga blocks as a target to reach my elbow to so that I had something object, uh, objective. Obje objective. An objective target. Okay, deep breaths. You got another 30, 45 seconds. Try to relax through sidewalk, stereo, breathe. You can even move, you can even pulse here. As long as there's a little bit of tension in the quad as you pull in a position. And for the last 10 seconds, let's grab onto our foot or ankle on the side and then reach our elbow to the ceiling. And let's get a little lateral inhale. I'm reaching to the ceiling with my elbow. Exhale, I try to sink a little closer to my leg. The other side. You might also notice that lateral flexibility can open up um, What's the opposite of lateral? Forward and back? How do you say that? Forward and back flexibility? In other words, so, what's that again? For after. For after. Oh, what? Oh, wow. But yeah, you got it. Um, like if I do a pike stretch and then and I can't touch my toes, then I stretch this, sometimes then you can touch your toes. So. The limiting factor might not be in the space you always find or look for it. Okay, you ready? Overcoming isometrics, three five-second contractions. Point your toes, squeeze this straight. I don't care where you are. You could be right here. This is fine, as long as it's impossible to lift your leg. You ready? Three, two, one, and fight. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, go deeper. And fight. Five, four, three, two. One, deeper and deeper. You got to go right into it, otherwise you lose effect. One, four, three, two, one. Couple deeper and rest. You want to breathe there. Good. We come out a little bit. Or enough that you can now lift. Ready, Cramp City. 10 reps, point your toes, push into the floor, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. Breathing. <sighs> okay. Come on up. Zercher's. 
scripture, Jefferson curls. Five reps. Here we go. Extend the curl to my elbow. Legs are straight. They have to be straight the whole time. If they're not straight, I get mad. You ready? Double chin. Roll your way down for three, two, one. Hold it. Reach further and come up. Tuck your tail. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your butt. And you're up to the top. I didn't count, but that's the tempo. Down five, four, three, two, one. Hold up. Five, four, three. Two, one, breathe. Down, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, up, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe, last one, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, reach, 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 up, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Gently down barbell. Take a seat. Enjoy some stretch. One last set. If you want to throw these into your own cool down or warm up routine, I highly recommend like after a deadlift day or after, if you feel like your spinal erectors are blown up, um, or you've just spent a lot of the workout in extension. Did some of the curls. You can even train the bottom, just holding the bottom and reaching for 10, 15 seconds. And then you can even put your barbell down from the bottom if you feel like you don't want to train the flexion on the way up. Just getting deep in that stretch is helpful. Here's to all of you also who started more narrow, but are like opening up space. I see you, even you, even though you have to train with Ashley in front of you. Sorry, dude, it's not fair. Don't worry about the time, just take three deep breaths. You can even close your eyes, three deep breaths. Okay, now the fun begins. You ready? Push into the floor, point your toes, squeeze your quads. Get ready and lift or fight to lift five, four, three, two, one. Relax, go further. Take a breath and fight. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, go further. Last one, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, go further, breathe. Back up, 10 reps, ready, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Breathe. <laughs> Come on up, you got your last set, last. Let's do these on our own. Three to five reps, five seconds down. Five seconds up, one second hold at the top or the bottom. Just want to come around and see a few of you work. Cool. Knees are straight. Focus on the reach at the bottom. Can you reach at the bottom? Can you find your glutes at the bottom? In the first initiation of the movement, can I tuck my tail and squeeze my butt to come up? There you go, guys. Straighten your knees. Remember, I get angry. Knees aren't straight. I don't care how far you go. Here we go, Sergio. Lock them out right now. There you go. Don't let them bend. 
Don't let them bend. Don't let them bend. Don't let them bend. Right one. Right one. Right one. Right. Yes. There you go. Good. Breathe. Come up. That's it. Good, guys. 